Can I go on to um, the question of belongership, which is something that for many has uh, exercised quite a lot of thought and anxiety because it appears to create, uh, or in fact does create, uh, very clearly two classes of citizen, uh, even within a single jurisdiction. Um, and it does appear uh, to uh, violate the UK's international human rights obligations and its role as promoter of democratic values. In the 2012 OT's white paper, the FCO said that it was wrong to disenfranchise non-belongers, as they would have it. Is this still your position? And the, the principle of the white paper remains the case. But equally, the issue of belonger status, I think, again, the territories feel very strongly upon this, that it's an issue that they should be ruling on. I think we've seen some movement in certain territories where they've changed the name, so they're no longer calling themselves <coughs> belongers, and they've changed. But I think that's a technical I'm not sure change. this is an argument about the name. This is no, an in, about the in terms of their stuff, our view has been clear, but they've been very, uh, their, their pushback <coughs> from them is that this is a matter they should deal with domestically. <coughs> and, and immigration is a devolved matter, so it's sort of so similar it, to the previous conversation. Sorry. So, and so I was just saying immigration is a devolved matter in terms of the constitution, so it's similar to the previous constitutional point. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, the, 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 the question, though, is, as we know, is it's not just about uh, residency, it's actually about uh, having civic rights, like voting. Um, it, it does seem odd in uh, what we call the British family to have two classes of people. Would you not agree? Yes. Do you not think this is something that the UK we, we, should... My view, Mr Chairman, is that I think we, we have what I would call that times challenging but a constructive relationship with the overseas territories. I've sought to create governance structures and communication channels which allows now for us to have some of these challenging discussions in a more constructive way. And I'm hoping that we will see progress in due course, but I'm being again very upfront with you in the exchanges we've had to date. Their overseas territories are very clear, they feel very protective towards this, they regard it as a devolved manner, uh, a matter which they are responsible for and they want the British government to respect it, but our position in the 2012 paper hasn't changed. Will you be intervening? Sorry? Will you be intervening? No, I have no intention of intervening in any sort of direct order way. I, I believe there is a great uh, sort of uh, benefit to be had from having constructive progress and I believe that and I hope that there will be progress in that respect from the territories. Do you think the UK should adopt a belonger status with British overseas territory citizens? No. You don't think we should remove their right to vote? If they have, if they're registered to vote here in the UK, part of the British but overseas... But they don't belong. So, they don't I, belong. I don't, the concept you asked an earlier question, do you believe in it? And as I said, I believe in what we stated in the 2012 reduces, paper. You know, the source is goose. And, yeah. you know, it, I think just because there's a wrong on one side, you don't create a wrong on the other side to try and correct it. So you're willing to allow it to wrong? I, I'm willing to have a constructive discussion to address it. Mm -mm.